croissants, hot croissants. One a penny, two a penny, hot croissants. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> I'm Shanna Mae, and I have two children, Serafina and Brennan, and our cat Sugar. And um, welcome to our home. Growing up, my mom has passed on many family traditions with us. Making hot cross buns isn't actually the tradition. Our real tradition that has been around for more than 50 years is making our family Christmas cake. Family traditions help supplement the feelings for the event, you know, for the celebration. And um, it's definitely something that I want my children to grow up with. So making hot cross buns isn't really a tradition, but I would really like to keep it a tradition for just the four of us, my husband, our two kids in our own little home. One of my aunts shared this recipe with me. It makes 16 hot cross buns and I hope you enjoy them. Bring the milk to boil, remove it from the heat and add the butter. Leave the mixture to rest until it is cool to the touch. To prepare the dough, combine the flour, salt, sugar and yeast. Make a well in the centre. Pour in the warm milk and butter mixture. Then add the egg. Mix well bringing everything together until you have a sticky dough. Generously flour your working surface. Knead the dough by holding it with one hand and stretching it with the heel of the other hand, folding it back on itself. Repeat for about 20 minutes until the dough is smooth and elastic. Put the dough in a lightly oiled bowl and cover it with oiled cling film. Leave the dough to rise in a warm place for about an hour or until it doubles in size. Mummy, where does hot cross buns come from? Where do hot cross buns come from? So the week before yeah. Easter is called Holy Week and usually during Holy Week we try to eat some plain things. So before they used to eat hot cross buns. And do you know why we put a cross? Because Jesus died for us on a cross. Mommy, why does Jesus die for us? Why did Jesus die for us? Jesus loved us very, very, very much. He wanted to show us how much he loves us. And so he died on the cross for us. Take the dough and add the cranberries, chopped almonds, cinnamon and nutmeg. Knead them into the dough, making sure everything is well distributed. Set the dough aside to rise for one more hour or again until it doubles in size. Remember to cover it with some well-oiled cling film to stop the dough from getting a crust. Split the dough into 16 even pieces. Roll each piece into a smooth ball on a lightly floured work surface. Arrange the balls on one or two baking trays lined with parchment. Do leave some space between them for the dough to expand. Cover, but don't wrap the trays with more oiled cling film or a clean tea towel. Then set aside to proof for one more hour. Egg wash the buns before baking for a nice even brown crust. To make the paste for the crosses, mix the flour with about five tablespoons of water. Add the water a tablespoon at a time, so you add just enough to make a thick paste. Spoon the paste into a piping bag with a small nozzle. Pipe a line along each row of buns, then repeat in the other direction to create the crosses. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Bake the buns for 25 minutes on the middle shelf of the oven until golden brown. Watch the buns closely. If they are browning unevenly, you may need to turn the tray around once, halfway through baking. Enjoy your hot cross buns with butter. Bon appétit!